Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I built this 4-axis CNC foam cutter out of mostly hardware store parts. Um, but before we do that, let's watch some videos of it actually cutting. So on the front panel of the machine, there is a master switch that will turn the entire machine's power on, as well as a knob that you can adjust the temperature of the wire with, which is basically just a DC voltage controller. Both of the horizontal axes in this project use 3D printed bushings to slide along half inch steel rods, and then there's a 3 8 of an inch threaded rod that spins to move it along the axes. Both the steel rods and the threaded rod are both standard parts that you can find at any hardware store or Home Depot around you. On all four axes, NEMA 17 motors were used to turn the threaded rods with a 3D printed coupler. Um, I had these left over from a old 3D printer of mine, but you can purchase them on Amazon fairly cheaply. The vertical axis uses the same motor, coupler, and threaded rod. However, rather than riding on rods, it has bearings that ride inside the grooves of 2020 extrusion. In this build, the horizontal axis has about 30 inches of travel, and the vertical axis has about 12. So to control each one of these motors independently, I have an electronics box with a cooling fan on top. The cooling fan has LEDs for that extra RGB power. I have the motor wires soldered into these VGA connectors so I can quickly connect and disconnect the motors. So actual electronics wise, this machine uses a Ramps 1.4 shield stacked on top of an Arduino Mega. Um, it runs a modified version of Garble. And I'll put a link in the description to where I found that software. The hot wire is made from 28 gauge nichrome wire and it's attached at one end via a rubber band so that it can stretch when it's cutting tapers. Um, the power to the wire is supplied through these connectors right here. They're meant for RC plane servo linkages, but they work great for heating up the wire. So all the electronics are housed underneath this raised cutting platform with some incredible cable management. <laughs> um, so all those wires are a mess of 110 AC, 12 volt DC, and 18.5 volt DC. So maybe that's something I can improve in the future. Uh, but for right now it works. I have the hot wire running off of a old laptop charger and then the rest of the electronics running off of a 12 volt power supply from my old 3D printer. All right, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you enjoy stuff like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I've got plenty more projects in the works, which I'm gonna put up videos about, so you don't wanna miss those. If any of you guys are looking to replicate or do something like this project in the future, I will put all the links that helped me out below. 
uh, and there you can find the software I use to generate the G code, the garble software and firmware that you put onto the Arduino, and then a bunch of other instructions that um, help me out along the process. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, um, put them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next project. Thank you.